Okay, so same place, new gun. When it comes to Unidad weapons, the RPK-74 is a light machine gun that I actually favor just because of how powerful it is, usefulness, and even style. What's going on all you Ghost Recon Wildland fans? I'm Predictable60 here bringing you guys the next gun review in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Today we'll be looking at the light machine gun, the RP, the Unidad RPK-74. And like I said, this weapon is very unique just because of how it looks. It also came a part of the DLC that came along with this game. It was the Unidad Conspiracy, so that was where this weapon came from. And I really do think that this is a cool weapon. It has a magazine of 130, I do believe, and it does play a very big role in vehicle takedown. It really does make quick work of vehicles, helicopters, and even people. So, I mean, this weapon will definitely be a lifesaver for most people, and it really can be useful. I even was managed to get through this base for a good bit of it stealthy with it not having a silencer being able to be equipped. So, this weapon has no silencer, and I actually got through this base for the first half of it pretty stealth no one really came after me no one really heard me kill other people and that was kind of unique to me that no one really heard that this weapon was very loud and it was something that i thought that would definitely attract a lot of attention and i still managed to not die throughout this whole video there actually was one bit though that i actually did go down at and it was during a vehicle chase i ended up getting a little bit too close to another vehicle and the explosion from it is what killed me or got me down so that's actually where i went down at so i do have to say i went down once but it wasn't due to like any gunfight it was just more to do with an explosion that kind of was close by to me so that's really where the me going down came from now for those of you who like light machine guns like myself, um, this is probably one of the more useful ones. I really did find this very fun to use and it was very, some, very much something I would continue to use after this video. So I mean, this weapon for me is like one of a kind and it's very fun. It's like, like I said, it's very, very good to have on you just because of the magazine. The clip size is really big. It's something that is very good for you and you know, from, from looking at this, it looks like it has a magazine of 160. Uh, I do have to say because I mean this is a very big magazine and like I said bigger magazine the better just because you won't have to worry about reloading as much for those of you who like to just spray someone down to spray down a vehicle or just try to get out of a vehicle situation you know I mean even right here I just mo mowed down three people like it was nothing and people still don't even notice where I'm at they don't even know that I'm here they know someone's here they don't know where though it's 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 just ridiculous how useful this weapon was without a silencer and at this point this is when I first got spotted throughout the whole uh, situation here and that's pretty crazy you got I me mean, I'm, I'm pretty deep into this place and it's almost finished like I'm almost done executing just about everyone here and I pretty much went through here almost flawlessly, you know, I mean to me not going down at all is pretty flawless to me and, and people would hardly even notice where I was and even right here, you know, the distance right here is at least 90 so I mean I wouldn't get too crazy with distance on this weapon It's one of those weapons that you do have to be very state like very uh, casual with you can't really go too crazy and try to just Kill everybody and try to spray them down from a long distance because this weapon does have lots of recoil I have to say so you might want to be careful when it comes to trying to use this weapon at long range it's Something that you might want to consider is the fact that this weapon does have is a light machine gun your light machine guns are mainly what have the most recoil and that's just something you got to keep in mind when using this weapon. It's just something that you'd want to use fairly up close. I'd say 60 meters would probably give you the best. 60, but between 60 and 80 is what would give you your best output and your best availability at range. So, I mean, I even did a test right there just so you guys can see how much uh, damage this weapon does to vehicles. Um, of course... You know, even right here, I tried to do another little test here just to show you guys how useful this can be against vehicles. I accidentally killed a civilian, and sorry about that. I know mean, it's just a guy in a game. Really can't apologize for that. But his family will probably hate me whenever they tell him this guy died due to just a stray bullet. But anyways, this is more about the gun. So for those of you again looking for a weapon that has some pretty good stats about it, the RPK74 is pretty useful to have. Now, as I said before, the recoil to this weapon is pretty, it's, it's, it's not too, too bad, but it's still just, the recoil is there, and it is something you do need to consider whenever you're trying to use this weapon. For those of you who like to use weapons and just spray down people, I mean, I'm one of those people who can burst fire and be fine with that, because you don't really need that much ammunition. See, this is where I died, actually. This is where I went down. You guys just saw that the explosion off of that vehicle actually affected me, so that's where I went down at, but... 
this um caravan actually got away from me because they took my teammates took forever to come pick me up and um yeah but basically this re the recoil is there and this is just something you need to really consider just so you guys know that I'm, I'm more of a person who can spray or who, i'm more of a person who can burst fire and be fine with it because like i said you don't really need that many people or that many bullets to take a person down it really doesn't take all of that. You can just really just hit someone twice as long as it's not like an Unidad with armor or something. If you got just a regular cartel member just walking around all casual, you can shoot him in the head, shoot him in the chest. It'll probably kill him. You don't really need that much because, again, you can't put a silencer on this thing, so already your damage is already out there. You know, your damage is pretty high just for the simple fact that you don't. You can't put a silencer on here. When any weapon without a silencer to me is a good weapon because, you know, of course I do love my silencers. Don't get me wrong. I do going I like going stealth. I love going stealth. That's just my thing, and it's just you know not all the time are silencers a good thing in a situation like this. I mean, this is you can be pretty open in this game, sort of in certain areas. You can be pretty open if you know what you're doing and you don't need a silencer, just like I did. I, I, I handled. I felt like I handled that situation, the first area that I was in, pretty well for someone who didn't have a silencer. But again, you don't want to try doing that with any type of assault rifle or any type of pistol. I mean, unless you, like I said, if you really think you're good enough to go into a base with a pistol or any other weapon than a light machine gun with no silencer then all by, by all means go for it you know that's just something that some people are good at i myself might actually try that just to show you guys that i can do it i might actually try that as a challenge honestly to just go into a base with a pistol only and then no silencer just to see what i can do with a pistol of course <clears throat> it's going to be very difficult just for the simple fact that pistols don't have range whatsoever so that's going to be a challenge in itself so i mean you guys can get to see me in action with a pistol there's actually another moment which i don't really know if it's coming up or not yeah it is coming up once i get into this little rock area over there to my left you guys probably saw that for a second but i actually take out a helicopter and it really didn't take long at all like it really felt like it took 15 shots before it went down 15 or 20 i mean helicopter didn't even stand a chance they even shot at me and i shot back and i was the one who came out on top again my damage output and my skill tree is very all the way up it's high so i really think that had more to do with why it went down so quickly but again this weapon is perfect for taking out vehicles because you have the ammo to back it up you know it's not just well maybe i'll take them out with this clip maybe i'll take them out with the next clip it's guaranteed that you'll take them out with one clip on this weapon just because of the weapons, the magazine size, the drum size really is, and look at, I mean, you guys can see, this thing already went down, it's already down, I mean, it didn't take long at all, it wasn't even up in the air for, you know, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, it just went down in a couple of seconds, so, this weapon will definitely melt through vehicles and helicopters, this is definitely something I would recommend for those of you who want to use a light machine gun, and even right here, like I said, these people are no more than maybe at this point maybe 80 meters away it's it's really just a good weapon all around you just have to be careful whenever you use this weapon at long range just because like i said the range on this thing is and it, the range and the recoil are kind of two and one two in the same because it's like the further out you are and of course the recoil being put into play then you got to remember that trying to take a person out from a long distance is going to be fairly difficult to do and I managed to do it, you know, and, and you know, I'm just used to the way these guns work, so that's probably why I'm doing it at ease. I, you know, I might, I might make it look easy to some people, but some people might be like, well, that's hard to do, I can't do that, so, you know, it, it really just all depends on the player and how you use the weapon. Again, if you're going to use this weapon at long range, you got to burst fire. As most weapons on this game, you got to burst fire them, of course, and with a silencer, um, you can't put one on this weapon. But also remember with silencers, silencers do slow down the bullet travel in this game. So that's something you have to remember. It plays a huge effect in this game. So for those of you who might like using silencers, just consider that that does play an effect on your bullet travel time. So that might be a reason why you don't shoot as quickly when people come nearby or far away. And you're wondering how come you're missing so much. But I think I want to wrap things up here. I really don't think there's too much else to say about this weapon, but um, thank you all for watching this video. If you guys found some useful information out of this video or just liked it in general, go ahead and rate that thumbs up button. You know, give us the thumbs up. 
to show your support and just you know share this video even you know just spread the word out there let people know that this video is out there three-man broadcast you know um, of course just let people know that they can always subscribe if they want to see more from this game because there will be a lot more gun reviews coming your way I am going to be doing a lot of more pistols I need to start doing those I haven't really done many pistols on here besides the exotic ones and I do want to actually get more into the pistols and of course show you guys how they work and how good I am with those um, I'm really not going to sit here and brag and say I'm the best with pistols, but I'm pretty decent with them. You know, I have my favorite pistols as well, so I'll probably go into that too while I'm talking about those. But if you guys would like to leave any comments or questions or just ask questions about anything, then go ahead and do that in the comment section below. And um, on that note, this has been your broadcast. You know, Unpredictable is out. Until next time, guys.